spend a few moments talking about some of the techniques that sure. you use to create this showpiece. Absolutely. Uh, first of all, it's not fully finished. I will, uh, I will add on. So but we'll come back later in the day. Sure, absolutely. Uh, but, I mean, some uh, regular techniques that you've seen before, I mean, the tube, you know, the vinyl tube, the, the vinyl in uh, a metal sheeting wall mm -hmm. that retained, that's flexible enough so you can create a ring and that retains uh, the, 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 the vinyl and also the, the, the pressure of the, the isomol. So you have it here, here. And after it's just more. You know, what are you using for the glitter element in there? Are those just air bubbles, or is it actual no, glitter? No, it's, it's a glitter. It's a it's a regular glitter that you find in any craft store. Uh, I use it uh, for commercial pieces. I wouldn't recommend to use it for, for competition, you know, because it's. Uh, I don't believe. Uh, some people say it's edible, but I don't believe it's edible. Huh? So how does one get texture like that on an element like the dragonfly wings? So for the wings, I created a, a silicone mat and uh, I pour the sugar on it, uh, spread it, okay. then mold it. So I got these, uh, these silicone wings. And these are some other ones that I did for the for leaves. So this is a special food grade silicone that you can do for any kind of molding? Yes. This, this one, it, it's carried by uh, Mike and Joey. So uh, the Chicago School of yes. Mold Making? Yeah. Okay. So what, so what other elements can we expect to see today, perhaps using will, some different uh, techniques? I will uh, pull some uh, flowers and try okay. to uh, stick them on the, on the stems mm -hmm. to make, uh, make it look like it's a, it's a flower on the stem. <laughs> with a giant uh, dragonfly.